Morning everybody and an early morning it is, which is rather unusual for me to get doing these videos at such an almost unearthly hour. But anyway, this is the quad from the very latest incarnation or partial rebranding of Meccano sets, the Meccano Engineering and Robotics 10 model race truck set. I've already reviewed the set in an earlier video, perhaps about a week ago, and this is one of the models from the set. And the bottom line is with it, it's surprisingly pleasant, the end result is anyway. Very fresh looking, modern looking you say, current maybe. Perhaps a little bit long to be in true proportion, but uh, it's, all, it's all pretty good really. As usual there are some niggles with the instructions, uh, I won't go into each individual one, we'll be here all day. Uh, incidentally, looking at the uh, details of the videos, I will try and cut them down a bit. Uh, but of course, trying to uh, help you, so sometimes it takes a bit longer. So, anyway, what have we got then? This quad, uh, decent looking model. Overall, decent build. Very pleasant looking, a little bit of basic detail. Of course, there's a lot of plastic in it, but as I said in the set review, it is quite weighty which sort of points to the fact that there is a fair bit of metal in as well not as much as perhaps a couple of years ago of course but nonetheless pretty good it's a one and three quarter hour build which um, surprised me really uh, looking at the assembly as I went this is going to be a bit long for what the end result is going to be but no one and three quarter hours and as usual that includes making my notes now Certainly one and a half hours, I should think fairly easy, maybe even an hour, uh, if you're pretty handy with this stuff. But, uh, okay, there's no motor, it doesn't do a lot, um, it's a, a push-along toy, basically. We'll have a look round the bits of details in a bit, but uh, as per Meccano of, well, ever, really, there are niggles and issues with the instructions. Overall, the instructions are clear. There's one where it is a little bit awkward, and I'll show you that now. It wins, it's when you come to put the bolts in here and here, there's a bit of issue with that with the alignment, mainly because the angles aren't shown very well of the parts, and you can't really see what you're doing this side. So it's uh, a little bit awkward. And talking of angles of parts in the build, or in the instructions there are several stages where you can't quite make out the angle of certain parts before you move on so really as usual sometimes don't bother tightening up the bolts fully till you get a bit further on and of course that sort of thing is fairly common um, yes the instructions are better I think overall than previous instructions as we'll find out in a bit with a 1978 set and the photographic instru instructions in theory they are the best but because they're quite small they're not so I suppose like many things in life a little bit of this one a little bit of that one a little bit of another put them all together and it'd be brilliant but that hasn't come yet but yeah it's a nice little uh, well little it's not too bad a size it's quite a decent size actually um, I ain't measured it, but it's about four inches wide, and we know that by the hundred millimeter stroke four inch axles used, and probably about six inches long. Uh, height wise, probably two and a half to three inches high to the top of handlebars. Now, I would suggest some improvements um, just to the aesthetic look looks of the vehicle. Uh, one, uh, and of course, once you build up a few sets you'll have a few spare parts and you might be able to do other things which is where the real beauty of Meccano comes comes into its own really doing your own things uh, the one is the handlebars I've never been keen on a, a one piece handlebar on anything where it's held together with a bolt and the reasons for that is pretty simple really as you can probably see here we've got the bolt head on that end and that's fine Ideally a bit longer to show a bit more grip uh, would be even better, but that's okay. But the other side with the nut, it's pretty, well it sort of looks unfinished I suppose. 
So this is one case where I would suggest that using an axle a little bit longer than this bolt, a few more spacers and the small round almost clear rubber grommets on the end would make a better looking finish to the handlebars. You could also use some narrow angle brackets. I don't think there's any on this model or no, I don't think there is any on this model. But you could use some narrow angle brackets which are akin to these obtuse type but a 90 degree angle there up here as levers for the clutch and the brake. Another improvement that you might want to consider is the tank area just here. It's quite open isn't it so do whatever you feel to uh, fill that in a little bit. Perhaps add a little bit more colour, a bit more orange wouldn't have probably got a miss. Uh, but of course these models, I don't know what the process is really of designing the models, whether they have a somebody comes up with a list of parts uh, or a cost, I don't know, uh, and this is the maximum amount of parts for that cost or whatever parts you want for that cost and you make a model. I'm guessing that they make the first model the main model or a selection of models, one of which becomes a main model. This is purely guesswork and I suppose it's nice to think that if anybody from Meccano does watch these videos uh, without giving away any trade secrets, it'd be nice to know little things like that. But uh, I'm guessing now they select one of the one vehicle to be the A model and then from those parts make other models. Which sort of makes sense and for me that don't happen very often. <laughs> so overall with the parts that are in the set it's pretty good. Uh, I say it doesn't do a great deal but there is little bits of detail. The nice mug guards at the front which you can see there of course, it's not hard to spot. Although they're not new, the chunky tyres, they're in the set review, nice. The actual wheels are fitted on backwards uh, which gives you a little bit more clearance for the grommets and it's about spot on. Nice neat finish without sticking out too far but there's enough there for the grommets to grip onto something. Nice footboards as well there, both sides and around the back nice bit of exhaust detail just there that's quite neat I like that and as you can see we've got a compression spring and a rear swing arm that moves a little bit as you can see now for a bit of improvement there in the travel add a longer bolt if you've got a spare the one downside to this if you were riding it for real look at the top of the shock or what becomes the shock absorber if you like with the suspension there uh, don't sit anywhere near that people might bring tears to your eyes <laughs> so there is some nice little detail you know they've added some parts to make like a bit of a curve at the back end there or rather a stepped curve but a little bit of form we've got the seat as well here formed by two obtuse narrow angle brackets which are the one inch by um, I suppose half inch variety and uh, not quarter inch I would say so there are nice little bits of detail I mean again I could improve on the seat uh, a few years back you got like a rubber black seat part very bendy uh, add one of those if at all possible to the top of these to give it a bit more well realism is probably too strong a word but a bit more definition there's the front of the vehicle again quite neat uh, nice little bit of form with the orange plastic parts on the top forming a little bit of a more bodywork. I did have trouble fitting all this together, well I say trouble well, another way it wasn't very clear, underneath here, just underneath at the back um, you can't see much of it, uh, you can see the base there is uh, one of the thicker, newer, not brand new now of course, been out about a year I suppose, plastic strips and that reaches quite up to the front and it wasn't quite clear where you fit that but uh, the overall model is very, very neat. Uh, very neat indeed. The wheels are, and, and well, the tyres are quite uh, apt for the type of model it is. Not too aggressive, but fairly aggressive. The nice detail around the back, the working suspension at the back as well. And there's another 
compression spring as well in the set so maybe you could do something else with a few more parts than that. The front chassis is a bit weird or front part of the chassis um, it's it's only fixed by really these one bolt fixings uh, inside here and the same this side initially then you've got like an A-frame here which joins this uh, flip-flop part uh, slightly flip-flop part I should say and that's okay because you've got these um, double brackets one inch by half inch double brackets here both sides again these are only held by one bolt there one bolt fixings just there and the same this side now again on the face of it that's not very good but it's fine when you put the axle together when you put the axle together it helps in a structural way as well and uh, the location of certain parts on the side means that even if this was to come loose slightly and I doubt whether these will because I'm not sure I tighten them up well the front end is not going to move very far because it will come into contact with these brackets here and therefore hold quite structurally sound it's not the best way but it does certainly work so there you are folks the Meccano engineering and robotics 10 model race truck set quad once the uh, rest of the instructions are available to download I hope to get another set and build the model I wanted to which is the stock car, I think it was, if you want to call it, that banger racing car, whatever. Hopefully, anyway. Um, the engineering and robotics branding doesn't quite roll off the tongue as the Meccano Maker system, so I'm going to probably get that wrong in the video, and I apologise for that. But uh, there we are, and uh, I've been... Uh, look, well, I could put it, really. Um, let's just say... Um, I've got more time to do these videos, you lucky people. Now, thanks to, um, well, politics of the club variety, if you like, uh, in Meccano circles. So, uh, I'm going to go into the politics, uh, certainly not on this video, but if I need to, I'll, I probably will. Anyway, uh, enjoy your Meccano folks in any forms you like any way you want to do it yourself, new, old, mix. The point is, enjoy it. Keep the hobby going, irrespective of difficulties. So, next up, uh, well, not necessarily next, but we've got several videos to come. Well, there's plenty in the pile. And uh, just for a, a tip for a bargain, well, bargain, well, yeah, I suppose it is a bargain. Check out the... Uh, Toys R Us UK eBay shop, which I've only recently found. I did a search for Meccano just on the off chance and came up with some good buys. And I've only bought them for parts because I've already got two sets and built the models. And that is the latest version of the Empire State set, if you're in the UK. Uh, it was about £90 at Toys R Us. And uh, I think I got them when there was 80 Currently on their eBay shop, Toys R Us eBay shop, they're selling them for fifty nine ninety nine with free postage. Now, certainly there are some uh, things in the build, uh, the, in the completed model, that could be better. And are not quite as good, perhaps, as the previous incarnation. But there's a lot of parts in that set that if you're fairly new to this hobby, uh, such as the flexible plates in the set, you can't get at the moment, really. Uh, and when that set was introduced something like, I don't know, 18 months ago, you couldn't get uh, that many flexible plates in any sets then either. Plenty of nuts and bolts, uh, and overall for a 59 it's a good buy, so check that out. Um, if you want to find out, uh, perhaps sooner rather than later, of any bargains that I find, or indeed anybody else finds, Check out the mechanozone.com forum or the Facebook page if you prefer, or both. They're both free to join. You both have a look at them without signing up anyway. Uh, but by all means do and join in. Because that's what we want. We want people to enjoy the hobby. Certainly what I want and enjoy the things that I've enjoyed over the years as well. And hopefully other people will show their enjoyment and ideas and benefit others too. Anyway, 
I'll shut up now. Uh, several to come. Um, we've got a 1930s model to come, or more or less a 1930s model, 1970s model to come, and a couple of uh, new ideas, but from current sets. Bye for now.